Hello everyone, you are watching the, another episode of Uzbek Tales and as usual, I'm your host, Big Ali Boy Michael. Today it's uh, middle of winter, it's very cold outside and don't worry guys, this episode will be indoor episode and we are here in Angren city, I heard there is a one like you know small but very proud museum in Angren actually it's the only museum in Angren it's a Angren city history museum now we will go to that museum let's go so guys Angren city history museum it's open from 9 to 17 pm and there is a you know lunch time but there is they are open every day, so you can come, you can visit this museum anytime. Let's go! Guys, this museum was created like 1960, so it's uh, already like more than 60 years uh, functioning this museum. It was opened in another place, in, in another building, recently they moved here and because they are not situated in the uh, capital, their no budget is a little bit limited, but after this episode, guys, I think there will be more, more budget for this museum because this museum is very rich with the different artifacts. Because the museum is situated in Angren city, and Angren city is very old, very ancient uh, industrial city actually. So let's go the first first room. Guys, this is the this is the map of the Angren Valley, uh, Angren Angren Valley. So guys, see right now we are here in Angren. As you can see, there is it's situated between two mountains. This mountain's range is called Kurama, so there is Ahangaran, Almalik 1, okay? So Almalik, Ahangaran and Angren is the three um, huge industrial cities in this uh, place. So guys, let's go this place. Well, first let's see the, <laughs> this tree. This tree is, you know, it's... Uh, house a little bit you know like artificial but uh, the leaves are real wow i don't know how they do that but it's impressive it's very good so in this place in this region actually see guys uh, there is a lot of it's rich with them um, uh, fauna uh, actually see as you can see here the some examples gray monitor lizard this one and there is a black grouse or corsac yellow gopher and the just gopher and the bastard belladonna wow just look and here another another samples another samples this is the minks there is a black mink yeah i think this is the one and white one see white mink and the silver mink see there's here and this is the their their skin i think yeah okay so here what we've got see this is also the some samples of the fauna see how rich is there there is snakes birds and the oh this is just look at this so, I think I think this is the okay Suscrofa. It's a Latin name. Yeah, just here are some birds. See inhabitants of the coast. So Agretta alba, Ardea signorea, Rallus aquaticus, and different different things. They're all we here, and this is the okay flora map of this region there is a lot of lot of floors you can see over there some examples here again some okay there is a water reservoir nearby and a lot of lot of uh birds are living here see pelicanus crispus brach netarufino paul and other things 
and of course the deer the real one they are living here still nearby mountains so because <coughs> nearby mountains reach with the forest so in, inside the forest those uh, bears are living and you can see here some of the samples of the birds also so guys as i said it's very rich with the flora and the fauna so let's go to other room other room is it's a very unique room guys actually it's uh, imitation of the real cave now we will go inside the cave as i said guys this uh, place situated between mountains and the mountains there is a lot of caves so this is one of the imitation of the cave see this is one of the oldest oldest exponents this artifacts real wolf and I don't know this one. Okay, just a little bit creepy. Wow, nice. Okay, this is the cave. So let's go. We saw the cave, and now we'll go to other room. Okay, here. Here. See, this is all not in old style, you know. I like it, this kind of museums. So, this one is, uh, there is a name, one second, one second. This is the Carpa Sibirica. See, this two Carpa Sibirica. They are living here. Of course, it's in the, now they are very rare. Now they are in the Red Book of Uzbekistan. But still, you can see when you are visiting the mountains, when you are climbing on the high altitude, you can meet them. Let's go! So, now we'll go to other, other place, other room. Okay, so, yeah. Guys, around there is a huge mountains, Kurama range, and there is a lot of lot of petroglyphs. This is one of the you know it's not the real one of course, but later on, later on we'll visit those petroglyphs and I'll show you the petroglyphs. So see it's written here because almost koyatosh suratlara. So we will see. We will go to the almost also. So this is the photos of the petroglyphs. It's Ertosh Kshloga. This is the Ertosh village. In Ertosh village, there is a lot of, lot of petroglyphs. It's, and this Ertosh is nearby. In other episodes, we'll go there also. We'll show you the real petroglyphs. This is the Kolbulak. Okay, Kazil Almas, Kohsem. Again, Kolbulak, those places is the ancient peoples are lived there in those places also they are nearby when there is a good weather and you know when there is everything green everything beautiful we will go there but now as i said middle of winter very cold outside so okay here what we've got tombstone just look at this this is fourth or between fourth and fifth century just look at this beautiful and this is the place, actually this place nearby, people have lived a long time ago, like, you know, 50, 40,000 years. So this is the cave shelter of the Neanderthals. See, people live here because of the caves around. There is a lot of caves in the mountains. So just look, people live in the caves like 40 or 50,000 years ago. Yeah, it shows the way. So here we are. What is that? This is the stone bone. It's a grinding grains. Okay, so how they use that? How they did that? I don't know. It's something unbelievable. Of course, here ceramic vessels. Okay, between nine to 
11 centuries, yeah, very old. There is a lot of, lot of places people live compact in around the, this region. So I'll show you guys at the end of this episode. They've got it uh, like last year, another, another artifacts, but I'll show you at the end. But this one is guys, it's called Mukhona. Mukhona, the ancient times people, when they died, they buried uh, corpse, the dead bodies in one place and they buried the members of the same family in the same place. There is a lot of, lot of Mukhona around this place, Angren. Most of them still undiscovered, still there is no research about them, but later on, in another episode, we'll go to one of the Mukhona when there is a good weather. So guys, uh, okay, here I'll show you later. And let's go to here, what we've got here. Okay, guys, uh, Angren is the industrial city. There is, a, as I said, a lot of huge mountains. They are very rich with the mineral resources, okay? Mineral resources of this uh, region is so rich. See, just look at this. There is a Qazil Olma, Koch Bulak, or Lashkarak. They are all minings. There is a coal, there is a gold, there is a different mineral resources. So this is the some of the, okay, some of the, Maps here. Just look at this. The geology expedition of Eastern Kurama. This is the, what they found. It, the mineral resources. A lot of they are all different mineral resources. Let's go. So from 1940, right before the Second World War, the geologists they came here with the, their leader was uh, Chikrizov. Chikrizov. So they came with the expedition and he found the coal, first coal. See, this is the real, real shoes of the Chikrizov. Yeah. So Chikrizov, he's the one who did a lot for the Angren city. So it's written here that. Uh, government they decided in 25th of September 1940 to build the uh, coal minings and 1942 it was open and there was a four different minings they got it 23,000 more than 23,000 of uh, 23,000 ton of the gold coal so well this is the uh, second world war artifacts a lot of people they left to the second world war and when the older men at the war the women and the kids they are the one who start to work in the gold minings and now we will see them here this is the this is the they are this is the exhibition how they worked during the Second World War. All the men at the war, and instead of them, women, old men, and the kids, they are the ones who work in that time. See, it shows this one, yeah. So guys, and now we'll go to other, uh, other room. Okay, ah, yeah, this one, this is the exhibition. It's an honorary miner's room. This was the like, you know, uh, five star room for the miners. Just look at them. Look at what is there. There is a, oh, just one bed, two chairs, and that's it. And some ancient artifacts which they used that time. Wow, this is the real, ready set location for the movie actually nice good we'll go to other place next room okay guys uh, as i said there is another guy who his name was uh, ufimtsev ufimtsev he was not just a real great man he was a real artist this is 
work by Ufirtsev. It's called Meeting. It's created in 1944. One of the one of the most valuable, most expensive artwork in this museum. You just keep it here. Good. So here we are. We will see the Ufirtsev works. Let's see. Okay, this is the works by different artists, Chekhov, Zhukov and others, others. And this is the this is the works of the Ufimtsev. See 1946. It's called Burchmulla Evening. Burchmulla Evening, nice. They are priceless. Just look at this. This is 1936 Parkent. Parkent nearby city. Peaceful nine, night actually, 1948. Good. Wow. So, and next one is, okay. Ah, Twilight. It's called Namos Show in Uzbek language. So, Twilight, just look at this now. Also, 1946. Okay, so a lot of works by Ufimtsev. Ufimtsev, see, he just sit here in this uh, stool and he created his beautiful priceless works. So Ufimtsev is the, one of the great artists who created a lot of different priceless works and his wife, uh, his widow, give all the works to this museum. So this is his portrait. Yeah, also, he's the one who created. Here we are another uh, again Sean Sumerki Twilight. Okay, it's a yard, the real Uzbek yard. Yeah, most of the Uzbek yards is like this. See? It's uh, 1968. So guys, okay, this is another one. Nice, nice, yeah. So let's go to other room. There is we'll see something. Whoa. As I said, there is a real artifacts they are adding they are finding you know sometimes uh, by chance or something but this one is found by chance yeah so let's go there there is i'll show you so yeah this is the one okay let's at first i'll show you this one this is the shelter of the Kuramian. Kuramian, it means like this is the, before the Uzbeks, they become Uzbeks, become a nation. There was a lot of tribes. Kurama tribe was one of them. So uh, now a lot of people, they don't know the, their um, tribe names. So, but it's uh, you know, for the information. I'm from the Kurama tribe, so I was interested to learn our Kurama tribe history. And in this museum, they've created this beautiful, beautiful, you know, this thing, you know, which show the, show the life of the shelter of the Kurama tribe a long time ago. Just look, wow. I don't know who created, but he's a real master. He created the really nice thing. Just look. Everything is like real. He was, I don't know, real master. Yeah, see, he tried to show their real life, their house, and, and just look at this. A uh, lot of people they think that okay, multi-star buildings was built, you know, like recently. But just look this. No, in the mountain area, multi-story buildings was built a long time ago, and the Kurama tribe is. They are the one also built like this. Here, a lot of artifacts. Okay, it's a killer of this the drum. A lot of this. this is the home things they use it. Even though, even though, people in the some areas still using this artifact still. Yeah. And this is what uh, <laughs> every life thinks it's called. Okay, it's uh, made from the copper. Okay, so this one also created here a lot of, a lot of things. As I said, this is the industrial place. A lot of mining around. 
So this is the, some artifacts which they use, uh, real artifacts, mine worker tools, see? Between 10 to 12 centuries. Wow, they use it here. And here I'll show you how they, how I'll show you how they got the coals and the gold. So they were coming down from the here, okay? Small well, they will go down, see the steps. Wow, it's here, they will go down. I don't know how many layers, see? So many layers, how many meters, then go one by one. Slowly they digging, see? This guy is digging all the gold, uh, or the coal, or the gold and other things. So they give it to this guy. He will take it out. This was very, very hard work. Now there is a conveyors. Now there is a modern tools, but ancient time, no. It was a very hard work. See, and then all the way, they took it up and they put it in the donkeys. Okay, they were, they were using the donkeys. Of course, at that time there was no real real technique real you know cars or something so there was no trucks so it was very very difficult time yeah they use it and at the end guys i'll show you okay this is the one yeah this museum is getting rich every year with the valuable artifacts and this is one of them so we are filming this episode at the beginning of like 2021 mid of january and like six months ago 2020 in the summer the resident of the nearby city park and while he was digging hole in his home he found this one he found this artifacts ceramic vessels there was a human bones and i don't know it was like you know the very ancient because uh, together with the human they buried this one and this is it means uh, like um, very ancient tradition was that time to bury this man with the some jars or with the something together so this is the one of the ancient ancient and but news discovery which made by you know this museum so museum is very rich actually there is more than 18 like 32,000. i heard the different artifacts and only few of them are placed because their place is not so huge because they are uh, situated in the small uh, industrial city of uh, Angren. But whenever you are here, whenever you are passing by Angren, whenever you visit Angren, just visit this museum. Uzbek Tales recommends the, one of the best museums in this region, not just Uzbekistan ever. So this place is mm, rich with the history, rich with the mineral resources like coal and the gold they are very rich with artifacts a lot of lot of things still waiting for discovery in this region and the angren museum is working about it so at the end of this episode guys just don't forget to subscribe thumbs up any comments and comments for the and the likes for the Angre City History Museum also. See you guys in next episode.